thank you so much for being here. Can you guys hear me all right? I guess I better check to make sure. Are we good? Okay. I want to officially welcome you here to the grand opening of the first Boots on the Square ceremony right here in Huntsville. We're glad to be here with you. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us here on the steps of the historic Regions Bank building. We're on the west side of the square. And uh, it, this is going to be a wonderful ceremony. Thank you all for being here. My name is Robert Salinas. I will be your MC for this inaugural event. I'm very proud to be here among you, and it's very nice to be uh, to welcome you all here today. So to get us started, our invocation today will be by Father Dr. Dr. Andy, excuse me, I messed that up again, with Father Andy Anderson III. He is from the Church of the Nativity. Thank you. What a deep pleasure it is for us to gather today to remember those who have offered so much to us and to our nation. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose glory is in all the world, as we gather as a community on this eve of Veterans Day, we give thanks for the men and women who have served in the armed forces of our nation, risking so much to defend the liberties we enjoy. With grateful hearts, we especially remember our family and friends whose loyal service and patriotism these boots on the square represent. We know that their service is not to be taken for granted, that some still need our support as they recover from the hardships they endured for our sakes. We especially remember before you this day those souls who in the day of decision ventured much, giving their lives for our country. Remember those who died upon return, who are now in peace and rest. But we also remember those who are actively serving now and ask your gracious care and keeping of all the women and men of our armed forces at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage and a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. They are models for us, though we often fall short of them, so inspire us. The torch of liberty has been won for many in this land. Help us to keep its light ablaze, that we may not rest until all people of these United States share the benefits of true freedom and gladly accept its discipline. Strengthen our efforts hasten the coming of your kingdom of peace when all people from every land and nation, tribe and people with many voices and one united chorus will glorify your holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Our goal this afternoon in kicking off the Veterans Day holiday weekend is to promote awareness that our veterans come from people just like us ordinary people like you and me. It's a way to show one another here in the community that most everyone knows a military veteran, and veterans come from all walks of life. The thing that makes these ordinary people extraordinary is their willingness to step up and do things that some of us could never think of doing. Another harsh reality that we face is that between 20 and 23 veterans die every day from suicide. We want to remember these people as well and know that our group of veterans who returned home and for whatever reason continued to struggle after their mission was complete are not forgotten. Our living veterans will continue their service to their brothers and sisters in arms and keep their memory alive. So we would like to take a moment to thank all of you again for attending here and remembering our veterans as we begin the Veterans Day weekend. And now it is my guest to introduce our guest speaker for today. Many of you know him. It's Mr. Joe Fitzgerald, our civilian aide to the uh, Secretary of the Army. As I said, some of you know him to be an ardent supporter of veterans organizations since 1985. He is the founder of the Tennessee Valley Honor Flights from 2006 through 2010. Flights which were given, which uh, gave, excuse me, more than 1,300 World War II veterans to and from the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C., an opportunity to see something that they may never have gotten to see otherwise. Joe has held numerous off, uh, officer positions in various veterans groups, such as state and local chapters of the Association of the United States Army, or the AUSA, the North Alabama Veterans and Fraternal Organizations Coalition, and the Huntsville-Madison County Chamber of Commerce. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the civilian aide to the Secretary of the Army, Mr. Or Dr. Joe Fitzgerald. Thank you, Robert. First, let me extend. Hope you can hear me. Can you hear me out there? Yes. Oh. Yes. Ooh. 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 
First, let me extend my thanks to Helen Gillespie from Cup of Everything, organizer of this wonderful event, Boots on the Square. Where is she? PNC Bank and the Association of the United States Army Redstone Huntsville Chapter, and yes, the Bearded Warriors, Ty Oswald. Thank you for making this event a reality, making it so special. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you. It's my privilege to be here this afternoon to honor a very special group of people, America's veterans, our veterans. The boots worn by the defenders of this great nation, our veterans are extremely and extraordinarily special because boots represent the person, the veteran. Boots represent the places where the veteran has, has been. And boots, yes, boots represent the actions what the veteran has done, all wrap up, wrapped up into one package, a simple pair of boots. I encourage you to get to know these boots and the veterans who wore them, the ordinary citizens of this great community who did extraordinary things for this nation. Tomorrow, tomorrow all across the country, in town halls, and city squares, parades, and places just like this, we celebrate and honor America's veterans for their devotion, their patriotism, their selfless service, and their sacrifice on behalf of us all. We join hands in the name of peace and freedom to pay their proper tribute, to say thanks for their loyalty to this country and their own great courage which have made us what we are today and what we've been for more than two decades, to excuse me, for more than two centuries. <laughs> the world's indispensable nation, the land of the free and the home of the brave, a beacon of hope to an often troubled world. Regardless, regardless of the military branch of our service that you served, or the veterans have served, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the Coast Guard, tomorrow, Veterans Day belongs to all of them, just as it belongs to the vast generations of patriots who came before. From the Minutemen who, wore, who won our independence, to today's warriors turning back aggression all around the world, the line of Americans willing to risk their lives for this land, and the ideals of the people they love is long and never ending. Each of them, each of them is a part of our military, our military patriotic legacy. They have served with honor and dignity. They have served in different places and in different ways, but serve they have. They have not only fought our wars, they've preserved the peace whether in a faraway land or on a home station here. They have lived uncommon lives under a common banner, a love of country, and a service to their fellow man. It is therefore fitting, it is therefore fitting that we pause as a nation, as a people, to recognize their service and sacrifices. President Calvin Coolidge said long ago, the nation which forgets its defenders will itself be forgotten. Well, I'm here to tell you, America doesn't have that problem. Your attendance here attests to that. We will never forget our veterans, nor will we ever forget our POWs and MIAs who have yet to be accounted for. This is the solemn oath, the solemn promise of a grateful nation. I might also ask that we not forget the families of those veterans not forget the families either, for they too have served and sacrificed and deserve our thanks and admiration. As many of you know, we celebrate Veterans Day on the anniversary of the armistice that ended the First World War. The war to end all wars, as it was ironically known. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the battlefields of war-torn Europe fell silent as more than four years of unfathomable destruction came to an end. Unfortunately, unfortunately for us all, that silence was short-lived. In the intervening years, we have witnessed another World War, World War II, a Korean War, <coughs> Vietnam War, Cold War, Gulf War, 
and a global war on terror. But just as fortunately, in every case, whenever freedom was threatened, gallant men and women have risked and sometimes gave their lives by donning the cloth of this great nation, by wearing these boots. It's what has made America exceptional. The generations of patriot who, patriots who dedicated themselves to the defense of this nation, to the, the United States of America. At times of great peril, our veterans have kept the faith. Our veterans have kept the faith. They have kept us free and enabled America to keep faith with the rest of the world. That's why I'm so pleased to be here today, to be with you, to honor their faithful service, and to renew, reaffirm, and rededicate our commitment to keeping faith with them. Right now, all across the country, veterans serve as teachers, as doctors, engineers, social workers, community leaders, first responders, and even elected officials. They continue to serve this country, this community, by making positive impacts, building stronger futures, and inspiring future generations to come. That's as it should be. And we have a duty to support them. All Americans, all Americans, are charged with the responsibility to ensure the service and sacrifices of our veterans are not forgotten but they are continuously echoed in our respective communities across this nation and world. There is a saying that goes, soldiers are not in the Army, they are the Army. I couldn't agree more. Our tanks, our howitzers, our helicopters are nothing, they're nothing without the trusted professionals who make them work. And those soldiers are a direct reflection, those soldiers are a direct reflection of what's best about America. In fact, they are America. They are the heart, they are the soul, and they are the spirit of this great nation, the greatest nation on the planet. And so are our veterans. It is very fitting. It is very fitting that this Boots on the Square event, this Boots on the Square tribute, be done with boots, with the boots of our veterans. Veterans who walk among us every day, and veterans who are deceased, who are deceased. I'm reminded of the battlefield cross, tribute to the fallen soldier, where the helmet and identification tags signify the fallen soldier, where the inverted rifle with bayonet signals a time for prayer, a break in the action, to pay tribute to our comrade. Yes, the combat boots that represent the final march of the last battle. Ladies and gentlemen, these boots on the square, on the square of Huntsville, Huntsville, Alabama, Madison County, Alabama, symbolize the courage and the sacrifice made by our fellow citizens. May they never be forgotten. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here today, and thank you for this observance. And tomorrow, 11 November 2016, happy Veterans Day to all of you. Thank you. Let's give these folks a big hand again. Enjoy having you. Thanks for coming out, taking part of your busy day and doing that. Okay, we talked about the presentation, of, we talked about the uh, placing of the boots on the ground, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. But before we do, I'd like to have our official presentation of a pair of boots. So if, uh, if you would please, Miss Deborah Edwards. And then, Miss, uh, uh, excuse me, Specialist Simborski, if you all would join me up here.
Right, that's a, that's a good, if you want to step up on the step, you can, that's fine. You'll now do, it, you'll now do an official presentation of the boots to Specialist Simborski. I accept these boots on behalf of the United States of America. Thank you very much for helping us out. Can we give him a big hand, please, for working with us here? Thank you very, very much. Uh, before we uh, finish things up a little bit, just a couple more things to do here. Uh, we want once again to uh, mention a few people that have been uh, instrumental in helping put this event together. Special thanks go to PNC Bank and the AUSA for their financial support of this particular event at Boots on the Square. We would like to also express our gratitude to the Huntsville Concert Band, the uh, quintet that's here joining us again, and uh, all the guys with the bearded warriors. I see one beard sitting out there I'm uh, very familiar with. And, of course, a cup of everything, Quilts of Honor, and Downtown Inc. for all of their support in this event. Would you please give them all a big round of applause? Thank you very much. Uh, with this is the completion of our formal ceremony. Now volunteers will be placing boots and shoes of meeting to veterans on the porches surrounding the Madison County Courthouse uh, beginning now. And each pair will contain a short bio and a photo of the veteran who is being remembered. So please, when you come by to visit, tell all your friends to come see it. Uh, take your time, become familiar with the men and women of our area and all of their efforts in protecting our precious freedoms. The freedoms we enjoy every day because of their efforts. That's a good send-off for them. I want to wish everybody a happy Veterans Day. Before we send everybody off, I would like to, with our uh, benediction for the day, uh, please welcome the Reverend Jim uh, Henderson, Chaplain of the AUSA. Thank you, Robert, and good afternoon, everyone. What a special beautiful observance today. It's my privilege to be here as a minister and also as an old soldier. And it's appropriate, I believe, that I share with you an old soldier's prayer. We have this on our Association of the U.S. Army website, and I believe it sums up the way we feel as old soldiers toward those who have served and those who are serving and who will serve. I have fought when others feared to serve. I have gone where others failed to go. I've lost friends in war and strife who value duty more than the love of life. I have shared the comradeship of pain. I have searched the lands for men that we have lost. I have sons who served this land of liberty, who would fight to see that other stricken lands are free. I have seen the weak forsake humanity. I have heard the traitors praise our enemy. I've seen challenged men and women become even bolder. I've seen the duty honor, sacrifice of the soldier. Now I understand the meaning of our lives, the loss of comrades not so very long ago. So to you who have answered duty's siren call, may God bless you, my son, my daughter, may God bless you all. And may we close with this prayer. Father, we thank you for this special time. We thank you for our great nation and all who we honor today. God bless our nation. God bless all who have served in our armed forces. 
and their families. And today, Lord, we thank you for this event. We thank you for all the special people who have made this possible. God bless the United States. God bless this observance. And I pray in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. God bless America. Before we uh, get everybody out of here, how about if we hear another song from the quintet here? Would you guys uh, honor us with something? Thank you all for coming today, and have a lovely day. Thank you. Happy Veterans Day, all. Father, good to meet you. Yes, sir.